Hello friends, welcome back to Technique and today we are going to do a quick speedest comparison of two powerful mid-range devices in the 30 to 40,000 price segment. We have the iQOO Neo 7 Pro launched recently with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip and we also have the OnePlus 11R which is launched a couple of months back again the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip. Now the OnePlus 11R created a really big buzz when it was launched for 3999. Now we have the iQOO Neo 7 Pro launched much cheaper around 31 triple nine with the offers the actual pricing is 33 triple nine so these are two really good and powerful devices uh, in the 30 to 40 thousand price segment so let's do a quick uh, speed test of these two devices then we'll do the uh, the network uh, speed anti to benchmark storage test and the geekbench to see how they perform so before getting into the video if this is your first time on this channel do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so we have the two devices with us and uh, let's uh, go to the about phone on both the devices so about device so iq neo 7 pro 3 gigahertz uh, qualcomm snapdragon uh, 8 plus gen 1 here also snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 uh, 16 gigs of ram this is 12 gigs of ram uh, but more importantly this is uh, lpddr 5x ram while the iq neo 7 pro is lpddr 5 ram so that will definitely give any uh, 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 advantage to the one plus uh, uh, 11r now uh, this is android version android 13 here also android version 13 rest all uh, remains the same uh, 5000 milliampere battery now the software is a uh, fun choice and the oxygen is 13 uh, so that's another difference so we'll be doing uh, the speed test so let's just clear off all the apps in the background so there you go we have cleared off all the apps in the background and let's also see the network settings so you can see here both are connected to the same wi-fi network and both are now in airplane mode as well so uh, we'll start the speed test so first app would be asphalt 9 so let's see uh, which of uh, these uh, devices opens asphalt 9 faster now the game mode is enabled on both the devices so you can see that uh, both have the game uh, turbo mode or uh, which uh, the mode which uh, enables better game loading and performance So you can see that uh, uh, the OnePlus 11R opened the game faster than the iQ Neo 7 Pro. So next uh, is, uh, so let's just go to the next game. This is uh, Call of Duty Mobile. So let's see which uh, opens this faster. So once again, uh, OnePlus has taken a slight lead here. You can see that OnePlus has loaded the game faster than the iQ Neo 7 Pro. So both the games OnePlus 1. Now next uh, is uh, Play Store. Here iQ did uh, slightly faster. Chrome browser. Again iQ was slightly faster. Facebook. X at same time I would say. Twitter. Again X at same time. Next is uh, Instagram. Uh, OnePlus was slightly faster. Spotify. Uh, this probably I think iQ was slightly faster. Amazon. Again iQ was slightly faster. Flipkart. Uh, this uh, was faster on OnePlus. File Manager. Again OnePlus is faster. Settings. Again OnePlus is faster. YouTube. Again I think OnePlus is slightly faster. Oh, sorry iq was faster now here oneplus is slightly faster camera again oneplus is slightly faster and finally maps so here you can see that iq uh, neo 7 pro is faster so you can see that uh, both the devices did perform really well in terms of uh, app opening now games were uh, loaded faster on the oneplus 11r while other apps were uh, kind of mixed both of them had uh, their own uh, advantage in terms of some apps while uh, some were faster on the other device so both of these with uh, the snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 did a really good job now next let's see the memory management of these two devices so let's open the apps uh, in the reverse order so let's see if anything is uh, reloaded uh, in this uh, list so so far uh, all of the apps are remained in the background so there you go play store now going to the games both are available in the memory And finally, uh, let's go to Asphalt 9. So Asphalt 9 has been reloaded on uh, the iQ Neo 7 Pro. We are not really sure about what exactly is the issue because in previous test it was still available in the memory. 
so that is uh, the speed test so you can see that uh, uh, here i wouldn't say uh, the memory management is bad on iq neo 7 pro it's almost similar um, in terms of performance so uh, we would say uh, one plus did have a slight ad advantage with just one app uh, getting reloaded on the iq neo 7 pro next uh, is the network uh, speed uh, here we'll uh, see which of these uh, uh, is able to produce better results so let's see the network speed So not much of difference here, uh, download and upload are quite similar in terms of performance. Next uh, is the Antutu benchmark score. So let's uh, see the Antutu benchmark score. So we are tested in the same app, uh, the 10.0.1. Now you can see that uh, again, uh, not much of a difference here. You can uh, see that uh, IQ Neo 7 Pro is slightly better. But again, uh, this I won't, I won't consider this as a major difference. Both of them are closer to 1 lakh uh, or rather 13 lakh uh, uh, score, Antutu score both are really powerful and uh, does pretty good job in terms of performance now next is a storage test both have uh, uh, the 3.1 storage support so let's see which uh, performs better so here we have the value uh, 79,433 now let's uh, see the one plus 11 uh, r as well So this is 68404, this is 79435. So IQ Neo 7 Pro does have a slight advantage here. So that was uh, the Android benchmark. So now next and final one is uh, the uh, Geekbench 6 test. So let's open uh, this Geekbench test and see the result. So here are the benchmark result. Uh, you can see that uh, almost similar score 1707 and 1712 single and multi core score. So again, uh, similar in terms of result, uh, there isn't much to differentiate, very similar to the Antitude benchmark score as well. Both have quite similar scores. So that was uh, the performance testing and uh, the speed test of uh, the iQ Neo 7 Pro with uh, the OnePlus uh, uh, 11R. Now both of these devices are really good in terms of uh, performance and uh, uh, great experience as such uh, in terms of software as well. Now the iQ Neo 7 Pro is priced uh, lower, comparatively lower to the iQ, I mean the OnePlus 11R uh, which is priced 39 The main difference here is that the Oxygen OS is a bit more refined than the iQ's uh, fun touch OS and it's also LPDDR5X RAM which is the LPDDR5 RAM so other than that uh, mostly similar in terms of performance so that was the speed of comparison hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day